Jonathan here from HGM Electronics. Today we're talking about connecting your HGM CompuShift transmission harness to the 4R70 and 4R75 transmissions and the various configurations available between the transmission and our looms. First part of the loom we're going to discuss is the main solenoid connector. There's a couple of different variations depending on whether you have the 4R70 or the 4R75. The main difference is you either have a black connector with seven pins or a nine pin connector that is white. Today we are showing the 34203 connector. This connects straight on to the transmission solenoid connector, like so. So now we're looking at the transmission output speed sensor or TOS sensor. It is located here about midway along the transmission. One little tip is sometimes people get that confused with the rear sensor here in the extension housing. This location is commonly used with a cable driven speedo output to run the speedometer on the dash cluster or a cruise control unit or something else. Irrespective, the CompuShift does not connect to this sensor. If you've connected to this sensor, you'll get incorrect readings. You need to be connected to this sensor here. The transmission output speed sensor does have two variations. One we consider an oval plug, the other is a square plug. We do have two speed sensor looms that connect to the harnesses and these will adapt our connections to the appropriate speed sensor. In this case, I'm using the oval speed sensor and that just pushes straight on. Just a quick note about the transmission output speed sensor. They do have pulse count differences between the 4R70 and the 4R75. The 4R70 is 6 pulses per revolution, the 4R75 is 24 pulses per revolution. So if you do find that your uh, speed calculation in the app is out by a factor of 3, then you may have chosen the wrong transmission in the transmission type setting in the CompuShift app. So here we have our 12 pin digital rain sensor connector. You'll notice that there are four extra wires on the connector that handle neutral start and reverse lamps connection. Neutral start are your red wires and reverse lamps are your white with red trace. This connector simply pushes on, goes on and clicks accordingly. Another small tip with the rain sensor is to make sure that in the neutral position that the lines on the black case and on the collar of the shaft line up so that that way you are decoding the positions correctly for the CompuShift to understand. Just undo the bolts and twist the range sensor accordingly so that you get those lines lined up. Now that we've discussed the main transmission leg of the harness, we'll go on to the power leg. The power leg has the 12 volt ignition switch power wire that supplies the main power supply to the CompuShift transmission computer and your main earth or ground wire. Please make sure that this is ground preferably to a factory or OEM grounding position in your vehicle or run directly to the battery negative post. Our brown wire is our tack signal in coming from the engine. Purple with white trace is our speedo output wire. This wire is if you have taken over control of the speed signal that would normally go to the dash cluster from the CompuShift. This allows you to reproduce that signal and control that directly from the CompuShift. In some cases we need our overdrive cancel wires. This will allow us to electronically switch between uh, fourth gear and third gear. Our blue with yellow trace is your switch connector. This is connected through to ground through the switch either via momentary or toggling. The blue with white trace is your LED indicator for overdrive cancel. This will only run an LED, not an incandescent bulb. Lastly in the power leg, we have our mode switch wires. This allows us to switch between the A and the B calibrations in the CompuShift. We also have a switch wire 
and we have an LED wire to let us know that when we're in the B mode only. On the next leg of the harness, we have the throttle position sensor connector. Now this is a three pin connector that can connect to either our uh, universal AccuLink connector or can be adapted with pigtails to our supported TPSs or you can actually cut this off and connect to your own sensor if you deem it is needed. The three wires are there so that you can run a standalone throttle position sensor. The green with red is your power wire. If you're tapping into an existing throttle position sensor that is already run by your vehicle, please do not connect the green with red wire, that is the power wire. Leave that disconnected. Our TCC manual switch wires are orange with black for your TCC switch. This is connected to ground momentarily. And our orange with white is our TCC LED indicator. In some cases, the mode switch wires and the lockup wires can be run to the same switch in a double momentary configuration, or they can be run to completely separate switches on different locations. For those of you who are running a CAN bus engine management system, we have our two pin Deutsch connector here that will connect through to whichever system you're using. If you're replacing this connector with your own connection, then just note that the brown or tan with black trace is your can high and the solid tan is can low. One other little tip that we have for installation is you'll see that we have some grommets already pre-fitted to some of the legs and this is because quite often they are fitted through the cabin floor out to the outside of the vehicle. This concludes the 4R70 and 4R75 harness installation video. Thanks for watching.